Hey guys, Animanga. So, I have the tournament this Saturday, like I promised, the Virtual World CPU tournament. Um, this will basically be the 14 characters that dueled in the Virtual World um, arc in the anime, um, which was the arc all about Kaiba, of course, and the bad guys were Noah, the Big Five, and Gozaboro Kaiba. Um, yeah, so there was 14 duelists that dueled, and I'm going to show you the matchups that I um, have randomized for the tournament. Here they are. So we have Gansley versus Yugi, Tristan versus Noah. Oh, that's a mismatch. Taya versus Nesbitt. Interesting. Joey versus Gozaboro. Um, Gozaboro's deck sucks in this, so it should be easy for Joey. Lecter versus Crump. Johnson versus Duke. Serenity and Kaiba have to get a bye. Because there's 14 duelists, there's not 16. But, um, I mean, even though Serenity's getting a bye, she's pretty much guaranteed to be doomed. She's uh, dueling Kaiba. This is uh, the debut of Serenity's deck. I just made it for this tournament. She was the only character I hadn't made yet for this. Um, so, I think Kaiba deserves the bye since this arc was all about him anyway. And to start off the tournament, it looks like we have an anime accurate uh, duel here, Gansley versus Yugi, which was my favorite Big Five duel, by the way. Um, I'm sure that's unpopular opinion, but it actually was my favorite of the Big Five duels. They were all of them were really interesting, except the Crump one, but that the Gansley one was my favorite. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, let's just leave it at dual tracks today. So Gansley versus Yugi. He's not too far on, down on the list. I'm pretty, yeah, there he is. I did all the big five together. Now for for Yugi's deck, I'm actually um, have a very uh, his pre-made decks are already. His uh, pre-made decks are already in here, like for uh, every arc he did. And for the Virtual World arc, it's basically his King of Games Origins deck. So, or the level 4 deck. Alright, so I'm ready to get started, and uh, let's start the tournament, guys. Yugi versus Gansley. Begin. Now, in the anime, Gansley, it was suggested Gansley could have beaten him, but, um, you never know. Abyss Soldier, amazing start from Gansley. Holy crap, Yugi's actually in trouble already. Karibo. I want to save that for later. Curry Banda, okay, he actually didn't use that, though. <laughs> Yep, get Dark Magic Curtain, exactly. Smart play. Summons the Guardian of the Fortress, which gets beaten by Offering to the Doom. However, Offering to the Doom effect means that Gansley can't draw a card. He's not... Why is he not summoning the Dark Magician? Did he throw it away already? I didn't see it. I'm confused. What is, did he throw the Dark Magician away already? Holy crap, Gansley has a lot of protection, just like he did in the show. I mean, a lot of um, swarming ability. Gaia, that's not really going to help you right now. Oh, Solemn Judgment. Get judged. Holy crap, three Sand Gans. His search ability... You know, doing that's not really helping that much. Uh, this is the first time he's taken damage, though. It's impressive. Could Yugi already be out of the tournament? <laughs> Yugi could already be out of the tournament. Uh, I would have set that. I don't know what you're thinking. I know you're trying to get rid of his attack force, but he can always get a new monster. See? Wall of Illusion, which he did play in the show. I think this duel's over. Holy crap, Confiscation. Yeah, oh, that's why. 
The dart. Okay, the dart magician was breaking up his hand. Well, one good news about this, maybe you can get, Yugi can get a good destiny draw out of this. I hope. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, no destiny draw. Yugi lost. Gainsley just straight up beat Yugi. The one who won the Duel Monsters versus GX versus 5Ds tournament is out. He's out. <laughs> In the first duel of the tournament, he's out. I mean, it was a competent duel. It was He was close to beating Gansley, but still. Wow. I can't believe that. Well, Gansley wins. What can you say? Gansley has a good deck. I always have said he had the best deck of the big five. Maybe, maybe Lecter is in there. Maybe. Crump's deck is garbage. Um, kind of. Nightmare Penguin's okay. Johnson's deck is complete garbage. His is the worst. Nesbitt's has power, but that's all it has is power. No tactical abilities. Uh, definitely Gansley and Lecter have the best deck. So next is Tristan and Noah. I'm pretty sure Noah's going to win this. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So we got Tristan, who is in the game, luckily. You know, I can't... Hold on, wait a second. I need to look up, make sure I know what deck I'm using for Tristan. I'm, like, using the Arc 5 Tag Force page to do this. Okay, yeah, I think it is his level 2 deck. I don't want to make... I don't want to use an overpowered deck for Tristan for this tournament. Because I nerfed... I had to nerf Yugi, Kaiba, and Joey. They're not using their strongest decks here. That may explain why Yugi lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Tristan's level 2 deck. I had to make sure. And Noah. He is not in the game. So, I had to create him. There you are. Alright, Tristan versus Noah. <laughs> if Tristan wins this, it'll be a miracle. I kind of want to see Tristan win it, actually. Go, Tristan. Go, Tristan. Okay, pot of green. Solid smell. Okay. I think that's Gradius face down. Because Noah did use Gradius. Oh, I was about to say Noah. Oh, Tristan summons himself in attack mode. Kind of stupid. Shanato's Ark. Bye-bye, Tristan. Also a novel white rabbit on top of that. Oh no, that's Ochohime, I think. And you take extra damage on top of that. Oh, I thought you did. No, no, if you were in defense, you would have. But Shinado's out on the field, folks. Don't know how Tristan gets out of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Now he'll take damage. 900... A novel white rabbit was even annoying in the anime. In the show, the pharaoh was so happy to get rid of him. I remember he was like, I'm happy to see him again so I can get rid of him. Because he kept hitting me in the back. Yep, he's like, keep doing a guaranteed 700 damage every turn. Plus whatever Shinado can do. Yep, Shinado kills Tristan. And destroys his life points. That's game. Can't think of a single move that'll say, yeah, it's over. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's not gonna help. I didn't, couldn't even save him for that attack. Well, I was going for Tristan, but it was not meant to be. Noah wins perfect victory. Perfect victory for Noah. So, Noah advances. Alright, tournament is off to a uh, they are, had an upset in the first duel. A very big upset. So next is Taya and Nesbitt. A matchup we did not see. But Nesbitt is the only duelist that won a duel of the Big Five. 
Funny enough. Wait. It's Taya and Nesbitt, okay. Just checking. I had to make sure which order is in. Taya's in the game. Yep, using her level three deck. All right, so Nesbit, you are there. You are. Now this could be a toss-up. I don't know. Taya's deck's competent, solid, uh, but Nesbit has power. Nesbit could definitely overpower her. Plus he has machines. As you guys know, I have soft, a uh, very soft spot for machine users. Okay. Fairy's Gift. The card she did use in the show. Defeat Cyber Falcon. Classic monster battle. Blast Fear in attack mode like an idiot. Wasted Blast Fear. What you gonna do, Taya? Summoner Monk. All right, crash. Wait, hold on. Why didn't? Why didn't? I'm confused. Why didn't uh, she attack with skill dirt? Machine King. Oh, what a combo! Holy crap, that combo may win Nesbit the match. Actually, the duel actually. What a combo from Nesbit. Oh, Nightmare Penguin. Holy freak. Nightmare Penguin saves the day. Yup. Taya's got control back. Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> wow. They both summoned their bosses and she did what she did in the anime. She did it. The Sage of Stone play. The, except in the show, what she did was completely illegal, but I love it. <laughs> oh, two Dark Magicians. It's over. That's the duel. Unless that's Blast Spear face down. Oh no, it's definitely over. Five monsters, doesn't matter if it's Blast Spear or not. Gigatech Wolf bites the dust. And Nesbit bites the dust. Wow. Taya. Well done. Almost a perfect duel from her. She did well. Very well, Taya. Um, wow. So, Taya advances. Uh, it looked like Nesbitt had control for a second, but then she completely wrecked him. Joey and Gozabora, weird matchup. Joey and Gozabora. Joey, of course, is in the game. He uses, uh, his virtual world deck would be his level 2 deck. Goes a Boro. Gotta use Yami Yugi for everyone that's not in the game. Because who wouldn't want to use the King of Games AI, right? Am I right? <laughs> Alright, Joey and Goes a Boro. Bring it. Joey, of course. I pick on him winning. Mm. So goes a Boro. I couldn't tell what he got rid of there, but I didn't see any pieces of Exodia. There's one. He needs them in the grave to activate um, contract with the, you know, contract with Exodia. Oh my gosh, he's an idiot. He doesn't know how to use painful choice correctly. You're supposed to, you're supposed to choose all pieces of Exodia. Guess Joey's gonna play defensive. He doesn't, I mean, as long as Swords is out. 
He just play I know what he's doing. He's setting all the Exodia pieces face down. I haven't seen the head there yet. Heavy Storm. Gets rid of Fairy Box and Skull Dice. Pretty good. Yep, all pieces of Exodia. He needs the head in the grave, though, too. Here's where Jerry goes all out. Oh, I guess not. Why would... Okay, well. You could have set him in attack mode, too, though. And attack with Panther Warrior last. This is definitely going to help Gozabora if he's smart and can use Contract with Exodia. Something tells me Gozabora is not playing correctly. Why attack with Panther Warrior first? Okay, I think everything's in the grave except the head. But lo and behold, Gozabora is out of time. He has one turn left before Joey completely destroys him. No, no, I think he just lost. That's too much damage. Why attack with Panther? Okay. Is that enough? Thirty-seven. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, no, it's not. Nope. Okay. Gozabor gets one last turn. Either he gets Necros or Bust. I mean, and I don't think he has the head in the grave anyway. Swords. Okay, that's the head, though, that he set face down. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. If he gets Necros, he'll make the entire tournament worth it. If he can get Necros out. I think the card in his hand is either Necros or Contract with Exodia. <laughs> this is a crazy duel, guys. Joey hasn't taken a lick of damage, but still, there's the threat of... Are you kidding me? The third Swords. I mean, he, he's almost decked out, too. Impressive. Gozabor has found a way in it. Pitch Black Warwolf. Not a card Joey used, but whatever. Hmm. Alright, time's up, Gozabora. You'll lose on the I mean you're losing on this turn if you don't. Why get rid of Necros? Why would you get rid of Necros? I don't get it. I mean that's still not enough. He can still destroy all your monsters. As long as he's unless he's stupid and uses what are you doing? Still, you let him stay around one more turn, Joey. Okay, since he got rid of Necros, I don't know if he has any shot of winning the duel anymore. Okay, he definitely has every piece in the grave. He has to. He has to have every piece in the grave at this point. No! You got rid of Contract with Exodia. Does he not know how to use it? Oh, and he lost scapegoat. That's definitely the end of the duel. Goes aboard is just a huge disappointment. AI does not understand how to use Necros. Beep. Perfect victory. There's been a couple perfect victories already. <laughs> well, Joey takes out the trash. Jumping Joey Willa. So Joey and Taya. Duel that happened many times in the show. Lecter versus Crump, a big five battle. All right. Lecter versus Crump. Could go either way, honestly. Lecter, the fifth big five member. And on and off the leader. It's between him and Gansley. They never really decided. I guess Lecter at the end was the leader. And Crump, my least favorite member of the Big Five. He was the most annoying. So Genzo versus the Penguins.
Okay. Corrupt sets two. Sets a monster sets face down. Fire princess. D is destroyed by mirror force. Already used his mirror force, huh? Solemn wishes. Life absorbing machine. Okay. He has everything he needs. The whole Imperial Ulda. All good cards that he actually used. Bolt Penguin. I don't know why you wouldn't attack with the other one. I'm guessing Mother Grizzly. I could tell by the stats face down. Yeah, definitely worth it to keep Imperial Order out. Oh, man. He's getting like good life point gain, but it won't help unless he gets Injection Fairy Lily. Because he'll lose more damage than he's getting. Than he's uh, receiving in life point recovery. Alright, Destiny Draw, but if it's a Mirror Force, you can't use it. You filled up your back row. See, and he has... I, you know, you have to pay Imperial Order's cost until you're out of life points. So actually, no, Crump's going to win. Dude, Crump's going to win. Are you kidding me? Just like that. I mean, he's almost out of life points. But now you have to pay 700. You'll never get to use that mirror force in your hand. It's over. Just attack. Crump wins. Well, that was another perfect victory. Three perfect victories in the first round already. Wow. Oh, man. Lecter disappointed me big time. Lecter can definitely brick if he if he's doing bad. He can definitely mess up. Johnson and Duke. Obviously, they never dueled because Duke dueled Nesbitt and Johnson dueled Joey. So, Johnson and Duke. Alrighty. Let's see here. Alright, Johnson, you are right here, the third Big Five member, the lawyer, who had a really annoying nasally voice. Duke, you are in the game. What deck do I have to use for you again, though? Forget. I think it's your first deck. Yeah, your level two deck. Alright, Johnson and Duke. Would the ladies love Duke Devlin's... Will Lady Luck smile on Duke Devlin again? Or will Johnson deliver him a court mandate? I don't know. <laughs> Serve some justice up to him. <laughs> Got us with a third eye. Interesting start. Gets beaten by Easter Island head statues. What the heck? Flintlock. What does that do? Summons Flint. I mean, Flint summons Flintlock. I used to use that back in like 07. Back in the GX era. Safe zone's gone. Okay. So far, Duke's got complete control here. Skalingle. That at least let him draw the little draw power for him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a risky play, especially when you need life points. Oh, no, no. No. Excuse me. Sorry, Johnson. You are a genius. Why would you summon that in attack mode? Especially when they can't be destroyed. When Flint locks out, they can't be destroyed. Oh, crap. No! Johnson, you need to put up more of a fight than this. I mean, Mirror Force. <laughs> That's all I gotta say for Johnson. Mirror Force, Mirror Force. Dark Hole works. You can't use Flint. There's nothing to use it on. At least he's got a monster to protect himself because he has his life points are way too low. Gradius beats the Skalingle. 
Wow, he actually, they both had a monster. That's pretty incredible, actually. Especially Duke. He had to draw it off the top of his deck. Oh, that's some damage. All right, we got a duel here. Johnson ain't going down without a fight. Your Honor, might I approach the bench? Oh, some more damage. Take it. I want to see him get off his cameo wizard or dragon us the wick ignite. I will be. I will go may, uh, chaotic. Oh, did you really use? The, okay, no, that was a smart play. Never mind. That was actually a smart play. That was a smart play because a uh, solar flare dragon would have done five hundred every turn. Oh, take some more damage, dude. Wow, this is incredible. Judge, man, he plays... You lost. He just lost because he got baited into attack mode. If he summons one monster, it's over, I think. You only have 700 life points. It's not worth it. Why did you do that? Oh, you got lucky. Nesbitt. I mean, Nesbitt. Johnson, please... What are you doing? Okay, don't attack with the others. You're gonna lose. That's you better end your turn. End your turn. No, you lost. I mean, you did well, but you should have set those. Ended your turn. Set Armel and Myst Mystical Elf in defense mode, but you just lost. Well done, idiot. Uh Johnson. He almost came back, but. The power of the Duke Devlin was too much for him. The ladies love Duke Devlin. I can hear his theme right now. <laughs> so Duke advances, but it was very close. Pretty good duel, actually. And then that actually ends the round because Serenity had a buy and Kaiba had a buy. So we go back up to the top for round two. And then the next round we have Gansley versus Noah, the leader of the big five um, versus Noah. So let's see. Noah's deck's pretty inconsistent, and Gansley's is very consistent. So it could go either way, honestly. Maybe Gansley has upper hand here. Gansley, you are a little bit ways down the list, but the first big five member. I'm gonna have to create a lot, a lot of faces for this tournament, because <laughs> a lot of these characters don't exist in here. But it's funny they existed in games like Nightmare Troubadour, by the way, aka probably the best Yu-Gi-Oh DS game ever. Yes, better than World Championship games. I mean, it was a World Championship game, but better than, you know, 07 and 08, and uh, 09, 10, and 11 too. In my opinion. A Dark Hole by Gansley already that early? I mean, he got his Legendary Fisherman out. Yes, he did actually use it in the show. Mako wasn't the only one who had it. Oh, Shinato. But I bet you Gansley has a trap to, yep, offer into the Doom. See, this is where Noah is going to come back to bite him because he's not going to have any consistency. He has almost nothing on his, on the in his hand, I mean. Nothing on the field to protect himself. Gainsley could win this whole tournament. His deck is really solid. This is it. Gotta get a mirror force. Pot of greed. Nope. 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 Unless that's mirror force, it's over. Ah, uh, it's over. You don't have any spirit monsters. Gansley's too consistent. He's taken out the main villain and the main protagonist of this uh, story arc. So, yeah. Perfect victory for Gansley. There's been like four perfect victories this tournament. Jeez. Noah goes out. Gansley advances. Big Five. Eh. Big Five haven't, haven't done really that well, but Gansley specifically has. Uh, Taya versus Joey. This one's up in the air. I have no idea who's going to win this one.
Could be any, it could be either of them. I gotta make sure that's Teo's, yeah, level three deck. Whoops, went too far there. And now, Drew's level two deck. And remember, Kaiba hasn't even dueled this tournament. I don't even know how he'll perform with his uh, virtual world deck. Magical Citadel. Fairy's Gift, just like she started that last old butt. Roulette Barrel. Okay. Jerry's got the upper hand. Nope. Level 5 won't work. But he's got Pitch Black Warwolf. Yes, I know he didn't use either of these monsters. <laughs> but still. Fairy's Gift, again. I was about to say. Oh, it fails. Graceful Dice wasn't enough. Does Taya really not have anything else? What's going on with her? Spell Power Grass, that's not... Yeah, she's not playing well. None of this is helping you, Taya. I know you did amazing. Oh, there you go. Okay. Here you go. Nightmare Penguin. Which is not a card to use, by the way, but still. Spell Power Grasp again. But now she's starting to build up those counters. Again, not really helping you. But you do have the field advantage now, I guess. See, you wasted that stuff because, I mean, he can always beat Fairy's Gift with Axe Raider. What? See, so you messed up. Oh, you really messed up. Not only that, but you have now Nightmare Penguin's going to die. Bye bye. It's time, yeah, Destiny draw time for sure. Taya sets, and that's it. Fairy box, yeah, Joey will always use fairy box as long as he, he can keep the upper hand with that. Okay. Taya's Magician's Valkyria, she's not out of this yet. Dice Foon, yep. She lost Sage of Stone. Surprised she hasn't summoned Dark Magician Girl yet. Fire Sorcerer. She gets rid of two random cards, I believe. Yep. And Joey takes 800. That is a card she actually used in Virtual World. There we go. Kind of risky to attack, though. You lost both your Sage of Stone, so yeah. Oh! Double fairy box. Failed twice. Oh crap, let's get in the duel now. And it ended it. 6,000 damage. Joey did as good as he could do. That was a perfect dice jar. Perfect. Woo! Joey advances. Taya fought back, but Joey wins. Alright, Joey advances and fights Gansley in the semifinal. Next quarterfinal match is Crump versus Duke. Hmm. Crump and Duke, huh? There you are. Perfect. Crump, my least favorite member of the Big Five, versus Duke, who just took out John Nesbitt. Or no, he took out Johnson, right? Yeah. 
Crump and Duke. Can Duke take out yet another member of the Big Five? Now, Duke is, to me, for Duel Monsters, the definition of an average duelist. He's good, but... I mean, he beat Joey True, but that was in a draft duel. Where they had to use cards from a random pack. Oh, he's already got his boss penguin out. The great Emperor Penguin. And Duke is in some serious trouble already. Cold Wave, not really useful right now, but still. Yeah, Duke's in trouble. Flying Penguin goes in for 1400 damage. What are you going to do, Duke? Summon, okay. Solid play. Make sure uh, you, you make an even field advantage here. But he just has another Bolt Penguin. And you take much more damage, Dookie. <laughs> uh, okay, set, set. Wonder what that is facing on level three. No. Crump is really looking good right now. Crump is really looking good. I don't know if Duke can win this. Flint, can he summon Flintlock? No, he cannot. But it does weaken his penguin. Not that that's really gonna help you because that I'm guessing that face down won't help. Oh, it was. Oh, oh. dude, Crump just lost everything. Crump lost everything because of a one dumb play. I mean, one smart play that turned out to be a dumb play. And why did you play on an attack mode? Okay, I guess that works. He's just going to set Penguin Soldier again. I would go ahead and attack it. I would go ahead and attack it. He's just going to infinitely do this to you. What is happening right now? He's just going to do this forever, you know, Duke. Until he gets a good monster. Duke's caught in a loop. <laughs> he can't get out. He's like Merrick when he was controlling strings. He's like, ah, there's no way out. Does that mean you'll actually attack? Okay. Whoa. Okay, it's over. Pretty sure. What? I know you have the damage to beat Duke. Come on. Are you kidding me? He actually doesn't? You've got to have the... Okay, there it is. There we go. It's over. It's still over. That's a strong sea snake. Duke ran out of luck. And Crump advances. So we still got two Big Five members in it. The first one and the second Big Five member, too. The two water users, actually. Crump advances. So... Serenity and Kaiba. This is Kaiba's first duel. Um, and Serenity's real first duel. This is her first duel since I created her deck. And unfortunately, she's dueling Kaiba. But this is a weaker Kaiba. This is Virtual World Kaiba. So. Let's see. Okay, Serenity, you're right there at the top. Just like I planned. Seto Kaiba. His level 3 deck is his, um... Is his... Whoops. I didn't... His level, yeah, Blue Eyes Pulverization. Alright, this is his Virtual World... Kind of. Deck. This is kind of like his Duelist Kingdom Battle City and Virtual World deck, but I just really didn't want to. I didn't want to be bothered to build his his Virtual World deck because, I mean, this is pretty close to it anyway.
A lot of draw power early. Serenity Simmons Fire Princess and Enemy Controller. Nice. Oh, bad reaction to Samachi. Yeah, she uses like a a life point gain in burn deck too. There it is, it begins. Course of Sanctuary, her defensive monsters are gonna be really buff now. Cabot Summons Twin Headed Behemoth, a card he did actually use in Virtual World. But if you can't get by the defense, it's over. Don't you dare tell me Serenity is going to beat Kaiba, please. Please, please don't say so. Oh my gosh. I mean, those light points keep going down. This isn't good. He only has one blue eyes in this deck. I saw it myself. Which is kind of weird, I know, but whatever. He has different dimension dragon and other stuff that he had in Virtual World. Oh, she got her boss monster, St. June. The card she beat Nesbitt with. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Could she actually win this? Everyone knows Twinetta Behemoth comes back, though. There's a fact. Holy freak. There's no way she's going to beat him. I refuse to believe that Seto Kaiba is going to lose. Our life points are getting mighty high. Very, oh man. He's going to lose a thousand life points every turn. Okay. Guess that's the turn. Kaiba? Kaiba? Uh-oh, another thousand burn. Not to mention whatever peril, what other peril she has face down. Shining Angel, okay. Get you a Shining Angel. I mean, you're on a time limit, though. You have four turns, Kaiba. Four turns. You better figure something out now. And you don't have anything. Kaiba's been locked out. Dang, she has 10,000 life points. Did I create too good of a deck? And also, it doesn't help Kaiba's deck. is kind of nerfed. Uh oh, he yeah he's gonna lose next turn because this is a this is this damage is bad. Oh there we go okay, shadow spell, weaken Saint Jim. But now you you will take a thousand light points next turn. You better get blue eyes out. That's all I can say. Wabaku. I mean, until Fire Princess is destroyed, he will he's pretty much lost this duel. This is pitiful, Kaiba. I expected much better from you. Solid, but unless you get rid of Fire Princess, you're screwed. Why are you going all out with very weak monsters? Another Wabaku. Yeah, that was a horrible play. Horrible play. Now, I, she, I mean, she can just beat you this turn, right? Yep. All he has to do is attack one of the clowns. Oh, it's over. Random mercy. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. Serenity with 12,000 life points. Even better than a perfect victory. Beats Seto Kaiba. He didn't do a single point of damage to her. Not one. That was pitiful, Kaiba. What the heck? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Serenity by all against all odds advances in the tournament.
to face Crump. So the two semifinal matches, Gansley and Joey, Crump and Serenity. The Wheeler, the Wheeler um, siblings versus the first two Big Five members. All right. So first up is Gansley versus Joey, first semifinal. There you are. And Joey, you are the third duelist. Kind of counting on you to win this tournament, Joey. If Serenity wins, I'm going to laugh really hard. All right. Gansley is probably more consistent than this version of Joey. This version of Joey is weaker, but he still has three fairy boxes, so... Don't know. Could, this one's a toss-up. I'm going for my man Joey, though. Confiscation. Holy crap. This thing was always filled in hand control, though. Magic cylinder. Yep. And also reflection damage. And searching. He, Gansley really was a triple threat. He had searching, reflection damage, and hand control. But Joey has a stacked field. Can he get by it? Okay, yes he can. If he couldn't get by it, that was a waste. That was so worth it. Gansley takes 4,000 right to the face. And just like that, he's got to get Mirror Force. That's his only way out of this duel. That's got to be Mirror Force face down for Gansley. I wouldn't even summon Axe Raider. And you knew that was... Oh, no, no, he didn't. He probably didn't know that was another Wall of Illusion. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> He probably set Axe Raider, which is stupid. What the heck, man? This duel's become weird now. It's not enough. I mean, you know, I know you have Axe Raider in your hand. You could have guaranteed it. Alligator Sword Dragon? Yes, it is. Cardi used only exactly one time against Mako. I've always thought the artwork is beautiful on it. Oh, Silent Abyss. That's supposed to be like his rainbow snake in Ghana that he used in the show. Wow, he summons technically his boss. We've seen pretty much most of the bosses except Necros and Blue Eyes. And, you know, I will be... Ooh, Fairy Box. Fails. You know, I will be doing... Um, oh my gosh, Fairy Box is screwing Joey over. I will be, like I said, I will be doing um, many versions of these types of tournaments. So there'll be another Virtual World next time. Some other time. And, ooh... Scapegoat, you wasted a monster in your hand. So, like I said, yeah, um, Joey's still in a decent position, by the way. As long as these fell, these attacks fell. So, yeah, I'll do another Virtual World, another Duelist Kingdom, another Battle City, stuff like that. He better not do it again. Okay, that's successful. He's scared to attack the Axe Raider, though. I would be, too. Question. Was baby nope, baby dragon wasn't at the bottom of his grave. That's the movie pulled on merit. Oh pretty smart play. Get his life points really low. 
genius play actually from Jerry. Gansley is really searching through that deck. This is, I think it's going to come down to this round right here. Yep, scapegoat safe. And he just, he'll refuse to attack the others because he's scared. Oh, I didn't realize he just lost the duel because he, atta he attacked with Mother Grizzly. Bye-bye. Gainsley's an idiot. <laughs> Joey wins and advances to the final. Gainsley will be in the third place match. All right, my man Joey. Whoop, nope. Gansley doesn't advance. Joey advances. Excuse me. Crump and Serenity is next. Crump wins. He steals her body and goes to the real world. <laughs> Gansley couldn't do it, but Crump's the last remaining member of the Big Five. Whoops, passed him. Crump and Serenity, whose deck is way better than I thought it would be. Nope, not Kaiba. Serenity at the beginning. I, I want Serenity to win, mainly because I want to see Gainsley versus Crump in the third place match, and I want to see the Wheeler family duel it out. Duke it out, yeah. Come on, sis. Bring it. Never mess with the wheelers. I'm kind of going for Serenity here. Uh, especially since she beat Kaiba the way she beat him. Solid start. Hopefully that's forgiving Maiden face down. Oh! He hit Mirror Force. This changes everything. That was her only Mirror Force. Okay, two field spells out. She's, he's not willing to attack, I guess. Mm, Nightmare Penguin, all right. Goddess of Wim goes back to the hand. Holy crap. Oh, it is for, Forgiving Maiden, okay. She's fine. She has a monster that could, if it had to, stop Dark Magician. Wait. Oh, okay, I see. Eh, that wasn't that good of a move, though. That re that giant red sea snake's almost on the level of Forgiving Maiden. Be careful. Mm. Does she have St. Joan? No, she doesn't. Okay. Would have been impressed if she did. What is that? Princess of Sarugi. You take a thousand burn. Not bad. That's actually a decent card. I used to use it way back during the Duelist Kingdom days or like early Battle City days. I actually used it because it was pretty good. I would set a bunch of cards and flip it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Serenity's in deep trouble. Oh no, she's not. She'll always have a forgiving maiden now. Yeah, she'll always have her forgiven maiden now. Okay, she's fine. It's all good. What you gonna do, Crump? Wait, what? Why did you set Lady Panther? Why? I would've just set Forgiving Maiden. You realize you're screwed, right? He just beat you, I think. You already use your Mirror Force, too. And she can always, or he can always get back Penguin Soldier. That's it. That's the duel. Unless you have something. Looks like it's Crump's duel, guys. Nope. What's her face down? Numinous Healer. Why didn't she just use it? 
I mean, it wouldn't have saved her, but why didn't she use it? Hmm. Well, I guess Serenity was only good for that one duel against Kaiba. So, nope, Serenity doesn't advance. So, Joey and Crump is the final. Interesting. Um, but first, we have Gansley versus Serenity. Can Serenity redeem herself and beat a member of the Big Five? I don't know. There are Gansley and Serenity. You are also Yami Yugi, because I have to make you that. All right, Serenity at the top. All right, third place match before the uh, final match with Joey and Crump. Crump, dang it, my least favorite member of the Big Five. How has he made it this far? She's already got Marie's in the grave, I think. Two of them, I think. Solid start. Okay. Which is Black Forest. Let's her get the unhappy girl. Oh, yep, I was right. She had two in the grave. Was that really worth it to change it to defense man? Wait, oh no, it doesn't change it to defense man. Oh, it can't attack. Okay. Unhappy girl's a decent card. If you can fill up your opponent's field. Wow. Does Serenity actually have field advantage? What the heck is happening here? All right, there we go, Crump. Yep. Oh, I forgot he has the Deep Sea Warrior. Wait. Oh, no, I mean Gansley. <laughs> what am I saying? Not Crump. Crump's still in Joey. This is Gansley. I was about to say, Crump doesn't have the Deep Sea Warrior. That's Gansley, you know. Strong investment. Deep Sea Warrior. Pretty good. Uh-oh. You're about to take a lot of damage. I don't know, it's kind of worth it, actually, though. She'll always get back 400. Yeah, that was the best play ever. Best play. Now she can. she's going to get completely overpowered. Although I don't understand why he didn't attack there. Her only a chance is Guardian Angel Joan and destroy Abyss Soldier. That's literally your only chance to winning the duel. That's going to kill you right there. I think she just lost unless she has Mirror Force. No, it's over. That's the duel, I think. Oh no, not quite. It'll be close though. You know you... She's going to fall for it because he's just going to use Abyss Soldier again to stop her. <sighs> or not. I mean, they'll just use Abyss Soldier next turn. Alright, Serenity. Better be Mirror Force face down. Oh my gosh. Serenity will never learn. That better be Mirror Force. That's her only hope of living through this. This is it. This is the moment of truth. Mirror Force. All right. We got a duel again. We still got a duel again, though. 
Her life points will keep healing. Maybe that will save her. Maybe. If you start defending. Start playing defense. Okay, smart plan. This duel has become really good. Alright, and she's starting to gain some life points. Okay, she's back in business. Serenity's so setting up shop, and she just screwed herself again. That card, I should have never gave her that card, because now she's, she's addicted to attacking with it. That's it. You lost. That's it. Okay, you got lucky. But I promise you, you keep that in attack mode this turn and you lose next turn. Okay, but you really need to set in a happy girl in defense mode. Please, Serenity. I mean, this is solid, but... No, you beat... Oh, you beat yourself anyway. Well, bam. Dimension Wall. Gansley gets third place. Serenity gets fourth. Very good, though, for her. Very good for Serenity. I'm impressed. Um, but Gansley wins, as he should. Alright, so... Serenity lost fourth place. Gansley third place. And now, to decide first and second. Joey versus Crumb. Place your bets. The final duel of the tournament. I don't know if this Joey deck can keep up with Crumb. We'll see. Because most created decks, created character decks, I gave them Mirror Force. This is it. Final duel. Get excited, guys. Excuse me, I had to get some water. I expect a really good duel, at least 20 turns. Crump sets. Joey goes in for with Pitch Black Warwolf. Crump starts searching. If Crump starts getting Nightmare Penguin and stuff, it may be over. Oh, this is looking good right now for Crump. Scapegoat. Okay. He definitely needs it. Has Joey ever won a tournament of mine? Wait, did Joey win the... No, Arcana won the Battle City Tournament. I think he got pretty far in my, um... Duel Monsters versus G... No, he didn't. He won his first duel in incredible fashion in the Duel Monsters GX versus 5Ds Tournament. Um... Ooh, Cold Wave. I don't know if that's gonna matter, though. Crump's definitely got complete control here. He's soon going to be swarming the field with monsters. I'm seriously rooting for Joey to win this. I don't know how, but he needs to. You attack the wrong one. He has no fairy box or anything? What? Okay, you're running out of time here, Joey. No, he didn't do very well in the Duel Monsters vs. GX vs. 5Ds tournament. Ah, oh, he, I think he's lost. Because that's Penguin Soldier face down. Okay, maybe Fairy Box? Maybe. Oh, no. Wow, he kept Penguin Soldier face down. Interesting. Two Penguin Soldiers. Time Wizard. No! It fell. No! He had Time Wizard. Man, I'm disappointed. Oh, he got Catapult Turtle out. Fairy Box, yep. 
Okay. But you know you got he's got two nightmare penguins, so this is gonna be really hard to avoid. You'll have to get Mirror Force next turn or something. Oh, Catapult Turtle's effect, I forgot. You could probably just win with that. Okay. You'll just penguin soldier it there. Yep. Smart. I really hope that's Mirror Force. Some of the, ah, he's smart. Double fairy box. At least he's got double the chance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was that the duel? It is if this fails. No, okay. But now he'll use Catapult Turtle's effect. No? I mean, next turn he can if he has to. It's definitely over next turn. I don't see how he gets out of this. Crump has the upper hand. Crump. The penguin boy is actually going to win. Or cr penguin old man, I should say. It's over. Ah! Beating him in the worst way possible. Tributing penguin soldier of all things with catapult turtle. <laughs> Doing only 375 damage. But, dang. Crump it wins. Crump won the tournament. He is your champion. So, why are all the goons... Why are all the, the servants of the main villain winning my tournaments? Um, except my, my one duelist kingdom, uh, Arcana won battle city. Like I said, and Crump has now won the virtual world. Are you kidding me? Now, granted, I did nerf Yugi's deck, Kaiba's deck and Joey's deck for this. It's just so they could have somewhat accurate decks to their, um, virtual world deck. I could have personally made their decks, but it would have taken forever. So their decks were pretty solid anyway. Like, Yugi did have Mirage Knight and Dark Flare Knight and stuff like that. He actually did have that in this deck. Joey had somewhat accurate cards, yeah. Kaiba, yeah, he did have different Dimension Dragon and stuff, so. But, top four is fourth place, uh, Serenity. Um, third place, Gansley. Second place, Joey. First place, Crump. All right. So, that's going to be the tournament, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you for the next tournament. I guess for the next tournament, I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. It'll be fun, though, I promise. All right, see you for the next one. Bye, guys.